Hi, this is Joe with Big Tree Solutions, and today I'm going to be going over our group ordering function. This is going to be something that for all of you users that are doing weekly orders or group orders uh, for an office or friends uh, that will help you do this in a more efficient way. Uh, and also for our clients who are utilizing our software, uh, this is going to give you a tour of how this works from the front end. Our first step in the process will be logging in to our account. Now, depending on the design of the website that you're utilizing, this login button can be in multiple places, but it is usually easy to find. So we're going to go ahead and click to log in and enter our username and password. And you'll see this is going to immediately take me to my addresses. So from here, I can start an office order right here. You'll also notice on the home page, there will be an option for group ordering, and that will take you right to the office order. So to get started, you're going to want to create a group. So let's say test group one. Add a name email, a phone number is optional. So let's add this member. Uh, and in, in this case for test group one, uh, we're just going to leave it there. And I'm going to go back to office orders right here. And I've already created a DL lunch. So this is going to be my lunch group. And you'll see I have four members here. So I can edit the group if I'd like or I can start the order and from editing, I can start here. Or if I go back to office orders, you can see right, right from the beginning, I can just start an order using that group. So now you'll see we're entering into the order and I have the option of inviting all, all or any number of guests. So maybe we do not want to in, include test today. So we're just going to invite Joe, Matt and Serge. And now we'll proceed. So our next option is going to be where, where we are having the food delivered to. So I'm going to pick an address and you'll see it will move me on to the next option, which is when. So we want this food for tomorrow. And we want the delivery at 1230. And then we're going to say that all orders need to be placed by today at 8 p.m. Now you'll see there are some some parameters here. So depending on the amount of people, there's a certain cutoff time for when the order has to be placed with the restaurant, as well as uh, how long in advance the delivery company needs to receive that order. Because this is such a small group, you'll see that the invitation must be at least 30 minutes before the cutoff time. So we have to send our invitation at least 30 minutes before the cutoff time. And the cutoff time must be an hour uh, before the order time to give the restaurant a chance to prepare. So because there are only four members or three actually in this order, it, it's not a huge group order. But let's say there were 50, uh, there might be a 10 hour window where we want to make sure that the restaurant can actually prepare a large order for 50 people. And they're going to want to see that order you know, 12 hours in advance. So depending on how many people you have in the order, it will affect uh, the, the time that we need to prepare and execute the delivery to be there on time. Uh, so now we're going to decide when invita in invitation should be sent out. So we can schedule invitations or we can send immediately. Scheduling invitations would be if you're working for uh, an office, if you're an office administrator, and you want to say set up on Monday, you want to set up lunch for, you know, every day of the week. Uh, maybe you're going to do it right now and you're going to schedule the emails to go out every morning at 8 a.m. And then they'll be due every night by 8 p.m. And then the delivery comes the following day at 1 p.m. Uh, so this just gives you the opportunity to, in one period of time, go ahead and set up your uh, options for the entire week. So right now we're going to do send out the invitations immediately and we'll save. And since everything's good, it will move us on to our food options. 
So we're just going to be able to pick any restaurant that is that is able to fulfill the delivery time and amount of people. So these are the options we have. And let's just pick a restaurant. So now that we've picked a restaurant, we're going to going to select how we're going to pay. So there are a handful of options on how to pay. So the first option is I will pay for everybody. And this is plain and simple. Uh, the organizer or administrator is paying for every customer to that that places an order that's invited to this to, to this order. You can also have everyone pay for themselves. So in this case, you're only paying for yourself and everyone will be invited to the order uh, and be able to pay using their own credit card. So this is something that will be very useful. You know, you have a group of friends or a group of people in an office that, you know, instead of leaving the office, just want to have food delivered to them. But maybe the company's not buying the, the food. It's just something that they want to do for convenience. Well, someone can just set this up. Everyone can pay for themselves and the delivery will be made. And then the last is you can pay with a budget. So maybe you're doing this through the company and the company says, oh, we'll pick up $10 per person. And then after that, the individual will be able to enter their own credit card in and pay for the remaining balance. So again, you can pay for everybody. Everyone can pay for themselves or you can pay with a set budget. And then the last part is going to be a uh, driver gratuity. So in this case, we're going to say we're going to do 20%. And you'll see here available payment methods. You can enter a new uh, credit card or you can use a credit card that's on file. So we're going to go ahead and select a credit card. And now we've gone ahead and selected who we're inviting to this where it's being delivered to, when we want it delivered, the food that we're gonna be getting or restaurant where we're ordering from, the payment style, and we'll be able to monitor the status. So we'll go ahead and begin the office order and send out invitations immediately. So now you'll see our office order is in progress and there must be at least one member with an order before the office order can be submitted. So let's say you as the administrator create an order and no one else decides they're going to get food for that day you can still submit this and you'll just get your order or if two people out of the three or five out of 50 or whatever amount are are completed by the time that the order is due then you will be able to um, be involved in this group order so now i'm going to take you and show you what the email will look like on the user side Anyone that you invited will now receive an email notifying them that they have an invitation to place an order. Uh, as you can see, uh, has the order is for tomorrow at 1230 from this restaurant and you have until tonight at 8 p.m. Uh, to select your items if you wish to join the order. So then they can click here to join the order. And of course, it's going to show them uh, take them directly to the menu and let's put an order in here so we've now added an item and we're going to check out so here you go you'll now see that they have an order here and they can cancel this order if they would like to so when they cancel the order, it gives them the opportunity to change the order as well. Now let's go ahead and, and go back to the group order. So you'll see here if I'm if I'm at my home and I go to my account and go to office orders, this is where I can actually manage any pending orders. So here's our current order that we're looking at. We're going to go to manage this order. And right now it's saying that the minimum order has not been met. So we can go and look. So you'll see here, it's going to show if, if and you have a status here of where the order is, payment, where it's coming from, when, where, and who. 
So right here, this is where we can actually see who's placed an order yet. So we see that Joe's placed an order that's complete. He has one item. We can actually view that order if we'd like to. And we can also cancel that order. Uh, so, you know, that there might be a chance that Joe changes his mind and maybe he cancels his own order. Or maybe he calls us and says, hey, can you cancel my order for me? We can do that. Um, but we need another order. So we're going to sit here and, and we're just going to wait for another order to come in. So you can always monitor this through your state, through your status. And you'll see here uh, total members are three total members with orders is one. So as soon as another order comes in, we'll be able to process this order. So uh, another order has come through and you can see that here through your state, your status. And we'll see now that out of three, two members have ordered. We can go look at who that is. And we see here, Serge and Joe both made an order. Um, at this point, we can send this through um, or we can wait for Matt to place his order. So you have the option of letting the order uh, wait until your cutoff time, which is 8 p.m. tonight. Or if you want, you can finalize this order by clicking here. Uh, also keep in mind that if you can always view the orders and what they got and cancel the orders for them. So if someone wants to modify, let's go over how they'll be able to modify an order. So we're back at the original email that was sent to Joe. And you'll see here, click here to join the order, the same link that was used before. So we're going to click that. And because I've already placed an order, it's just telling me, you know, here's my order. And if I would like, I can cancel it. So let's go ahead and cancel that order. So yes, we're going to cancel. Now, if you would like to, to place a replacement order, click here. So we can click there and then go ahead and change our order. So we're going to change our order and recheck out. And now when we go back to the status, the total has changed. My order has changed. And this order is uh, ready to send. So again, at this point, you have the option. And, and in this case, we're going to go ahead and finalize the office order now. And because we don't have a valid credit card, it was unable to place. But at this point, with a valid uh, credit card, the order would be placed and you would receive the order um, at the requested time the following day. So we hope this is very useful and um, please let us know if you have any questions. You can reach out to your local delivery service and our clients can email support. Thanks so much and have a great day.